The Charleston we know today became popular in the Roaring Twenties of America, hence the decor. And of course, with the girls of the time, the flappers. They got their name because apparently they looked like birds flapping their wings when they danced. I see what they mean. Actually, Ian, these moves were key to the Charleston. Hands and arms play a big part and they should move in opposite directions to the feet. It's thought the key moves we know today were based upon those devised for the 1923 musical called Running Wild. The dance became an instant hit and by 1926 it was the dance of choice in all the clubs up and down the country. The music of the era kept the dance fast and energetic, usually danced between 200 and 300 beats per minute. That's quick. The signature move is called the J-Bird and is all about twisting feet. As the dancer takes the step forward and back, their feet literally twist. Funny faces, silly walks and even a cheeky slap around the bottom were incorporated into the routine. Although speakeasy regulars loved watching the flappers perform, the more conservative Americans blamed them for the demise of moral standards. Who, me? Yes, you. The Charleston was banned from many dance halls in the 1920s, but remained popular in the more salacious underground bars. Today, however, it's a firm favourite, and the best thing about the Charleston is that it can be danced in groups, in pairs, or even on your own. So there's no excuse for not having a go.